In this video, we will learn how to edit videos in the application InShot. So you have to select a video from your gallery, open it in, in the InShot and try all the features all together. So first one is how you will adjust the ratio. You can see there are multiple ratio factors on the screen and you can select any one of your choice. For a YouTube channel, I would prefer the ratio 16 by 9. In the zoom tab, you can see that you can zoom in and out the video and the screen. Moving into the background tab, you can see that you can change the background when you have zoom in and are out the video. So in the background, you can make it blur or make it clear or you can select a picture from your gallery in the background and you can change the settings as per your convenience and as per your desire. So here you go. You can move the video to any corner and the background picture is of your choice. Going back now the next step is about music so how you will have to add the music in the music gallery you can see there are built-in multiple songs more than 100 songs and you can select them in the other tab is about the import music and in import music you can select your songs from the gallery for example i have selected this song and i can use it in here I can cut it the cut the song anywhere from my convenience. And also there is an option that you can record your own voice. For example, here if I will press the button or record button and I can record my own voice, it's an easy tap. I can record my audio in this. Going back to the main menu, the next one is sticker. You can select any sticker from the gallery to, to paste it in any position on the screen. And you can resize that sticker. You can use the transition effects from the menu and you can select the transition time that whether it should be fast or slow and you can make it blur or very clear there are multiple options you can also select an image from your gallery as a sticker for example i here select an image and i can position it on the screen anywhere as per my desire the same options are available where you can change the transition effect you can change the transition time going back to the main menu the next option is text adding a text in the screen on the video you can use this option to add the text of your choice and on the menu you can see you can change the size of the text you can change the space between the alphabets and you can change the space between the lines of the text or the paragraph all these options are available You can also change the color of the text as per your choice from the tab appearing on the screen. And in the options, you can see that there are text, border, shadow, label, capacity. If you select the text, then it will change the color of the text. If you select the border, it will change the border shadow and similarly if you select the label it will change the color of the label and you can simply remove the label and sim similarly there is a capacity menu from where you can select the visibility of the text going back to the main menu the next option is filter in the filter you can see there are effects filter so in the effects you can select some some built-in effects from the from the in shot application and you can resize them and you can cut it down from anywhere 
if you don't want it to run on the whole clip. Going back to the main menu, the next option is the filter. In the filter, you can see so many filters available. You can select any one of your choice and you can apply, on it, apply it on the current clip. Or if you have multiple clips on this, in the video, you can select. Now, if you have multiple clips in your video, you can select a filter and you can apply this filter to all the clips by using apply to all option. Going back to the main menu, there is a option RIP. In this option, you can select a video within a video. So for example, here I have selected a video within the video. Now the background is the original video and the new video is appearing as a mini screen. You can relocate this mini screen on the main screen as per your convenience and as per your desire. You can resize this mini video. You can apply filters on it. You can apply transitions on it and all those whatever you want. You can add multiple mini videos on your main screen as well. And you can relocate them on the main screen as per your desire. Going back to the main menu, the next one is pre-cut. In this option, you can see trim, cut, split. You can use them to cut or split or trim your main clips of the video. The next option is split from sub using the split option you can split a video clip into two parts three parts and as many as you desire and similarly there are always apply to all options in the volume tab you can select the volume desired volume and apply to all or apply to the current clip similarly the next option is the speed of the clip and you can change the speed anytime you, if you want to make it slow or faster, you can make it faster up to 100 times. Or you can select the curve option and this curve means the speed will gradually increase or decrease as per the given graph. The next option is duplicate. If you have a video clip and you just want a duplicate of it next to it, just press the duplicate button. From the crop, you can crop the video, main video, as per your desire. And you can secure it by using the skew button. And the next option is rotate. You can rotate your video at to any angle as per your requirement. The next one is freeze. You can freeze the video and it will become a, an image. The next option is reverse. You can reverse a video clip and it will run from the end to the beginning it will take some time to process once it is processed your video clip will be reversed in the order as you can see here now the video is running from the end to the start the next option is you can select the resolution up to your desire you can see up to 4k resolution and you can also select the frame rate so that was in settings and we are done with all this video and after finishing we are now going to save this video into our gallery and for saving this video we already have selected 4k resolution and 60 rate frame now i'm going to save this video into the gallery with 4K resolution and 60 FPS. And it will be a maximum of 130 megabytes. So we are going to save the video in our gallery.
this was the video part of InShot editing. The next step is how to edit an image in using InShot. Go to the main menu of the InShot, select a photo from your gallery and you will see all the same options here. So first you will select the ratio of your photo. So you can select the background and zoom all the same options as you have seen in the video tab. And you can select the filter of your desire. You can adjust the aspect ratios. You can adjust the color brightness. All those things which are useful in, in the adjustment. Similarly, you can see effects. The same effects are available for the photo editing. The next option is retouch, which is not free. Um, the next one is selecting a sticker in your in your photo. You can select any sticker or you can select any image, further image into this desired image. You can write a text caption on it anywhere which you use. You can cut it. You can crop this photo up to your desired angle. You can rotate it, flip it. These all options are available in the InShot built-in menu. And now we are done. So we have saved this photo into the gallery. The next one is collage. If you want to make a collage of your photos, multiple photos, select them from the gallery. Go to the layout and select the layout from those given in the list you can choose any one of your desire whichever is suit best fitted in for your photos here let me select one of my choice and i'm selecting this one select it and the same menu appears again you can select the borders of all the photos you can make them more beautiful then you can move on to the next option which is the aspect ratios of the photos and here you can select the total dimensions of your photo as we have seen in the video part of this editing manual the next one is adjustment of the brightness and all those things and the next one is effects which you have which you are already familiar with and you can choose any effect of your desire sticker and you are done with it you can select an image you can select a sticker you can locate it anywhere on the screen the next option is text you can write a caption you can write any text anywhere as per your choice the other important thing is that it depends on how many keyboards you have in your cell phone so you can change the keyboard and you can write the language the text in your desired language so here i'm writing the the other text in the urdu language so it's available and if you in the collage if you select one single picture you can see there are further options available which will allow you to replace the photo delete the photo crop it rotate it one by one once you are done with that you can go back to the main menu and you can use any other options you can rotate the picture the you can flip it you can set the dimensions and all that once you are done with your collage the same option you will use to save it into the gallery that's all from here into the InShot. thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe the channel